Did you know that the National Park System is made up of 424 national park sites in the U.S., including national parks, historical sites, battlefields, and more? These make up 84 million acres and received 312 million visitors in 2022 alone. In terms of national parks, there are 63 located throughout the U.S. If you're like most people, you've probably visited or thought about visiting one of these at some point. But given that there are 63 of them, how are you supposed to choose? Well, we've got you covered because today on Across the Globe, we're going to be looking at the 10 best national parks in the USA. Number 10. Bryce Canyon National Park Located in southwestern Utah, Bryce Canyon is made up of orange-colored canyons and irregular limestone rock formations stretching up to 9,115 feet high. If you visit here, you might feel like you've suddenly teleported to Mars, but a quick look up to the sky should bring you down to Earth. Bryce Canyon is known for its perfectly clear skies due to an absence of light pollution. Because of this, it's even been designated an international dark sky. As you can imagine, this makes Bryce Canyon a mecca for stargazers who can enjoy the panoramic views of the heavens year-round. There's even a four-day astronomy festival held here every year. If you're not into stargazing, there are still plenty of things on the ground for you to do. Inspiration Point and Rim Trail are two of the most popular hikes, although I should note that these can be dangerous because of the elevation gain, so make sure you're going with someone experienced. Another plus of Bryce is its size. It's smaller than many other national parks at only about 38,000 acres. So you can actually see a good deal of the park in a relatively short amount of time. For reference, the largest national park in the US is Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve in Alaska, which is a whopping 13.2 million acres. If you do decide to go here, the best time to visit is May through September. Number 9. Acadia National Park Located in Maine, Acadia National Park is located on Mount Desert Island. This park features breathtaking ocean views, lakes, mountains, and more. You can go rock climbing, hiking, biking, or horseback riding during the day and explore the quaint New England town of Bar Harbor at night. If you decide to go, you might want to check out the Precipice and Beehive Trails, which are among the most popular and offer sweeping views of the Gulf of Maine. You can also hike or drive up the 3.5-mile road to the top of Cadillac Mountain, which is the tallest mountain not only in the park but along the North Atlantic seaboard, coming in at 1,530 feet tall. In terms of the best time of year to go, you may want to plan for early fall, such as September and October. This allows you to avoid the raininess in the spring and the massive crowds that flock here every summer. Number 8. Denali National Park Alaska may be one of the least visited states, but if you do find yourself here, you should try to squeeze in a trip to Denali National Park. Located about 240 miles from Anchorage, Denali is a massive 6 million acres with only one main road winding through it, making it feel truly remote. This park is particularly great for seeing wildlife, at least from a distance. At Denali, you can spot grizzly bears, black bears, wolves, moose, and caribou. A safer photo op is the snow-capped peaks of Mount McKinley, the tallest mountain in North America at 30,310 feet. For the hikers among you, you should know that there are only about 35 miles of actual hiking trails. Because of this, many choose to go off-trail. Of course, if you choose this route, be sure to plan accordingly. If you're wondering when the best time of year to go is, the answer is, it's up to you. In the winter, you can go cross-country skiing and you may even catch a glimpse of the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. The park is a little more accessible in the spring and summer though, and during this time, you may be able to catch a glimpse of the wildflowers that sprout up seemingly everywhere you look. Number 7. Grand Canyon National Park 
Did you know that the Grand Canyon is one of the seven natural wonders of the world along with places like Mount Everest and the Great Barrier Reef? As if that weren't cool enough, it also is classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is the fourth most visited park in the U.S. Located in Arizona, Grand Canyon National Park features a 277-mile-long gorge with those massive cliffs I'm sure you've seen in photos jutting up on either side. The canyon spans 18 miles across at its widest point and at the foot of the gorge winds the Colorado River. But the Grand Canyon isn't the only thing to see here. There are also elk, mountain lions, condors, and over 1,000 species of plants. For the adventure seeker among you, you can go zip lining or rafting. For everyone else, there are plenty of opportunities for photos and hikes. Now, the downside of this park is that it can get pretty crowded year round, but that shouldn't stop you from making a trip to see it. Number six, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Located in both Tennessee and North Carolina, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park spans over 522,000 acres and is one of the most visited parks in the U.S. You can find 10 campgrounds with over 1,000 campsites here, 850 miles of backcountry trails, and even 70 miles of the Appalachian Trail running through here. Another perk? It's one of the few free national parks, according to U.S. News & World Report. If you decide to visit, you may want to check out Klingman's Dome, which is the highest point in the park and offers panoramic views of the mountains. As you're taking in the natural beauty of the Great Smoky Mountains, you might catch a glimpse of one of the 1,778 different animal species that reside here, like a black bear or an elk. In addition to Klingman's Dome, many visitors plan their trip around the synchronous fireflies event. Taking place every summer, this is when fireflies light up the area with synchronized flashing as they search for a mate. However, I will note that it can get crowded during the summer, so if you're looking for a more private experience, you may want to consider visiting in the fall, when you can not only enjoy fewer crowds, but also take in the fall foliage. Number 5. Zion National Park Zion National Park is located a mere 72 miles, or about an hour and a half drive, away from Bryce Canyon National Park. Because of their proximity, many people decide to pack both parks into one trip, which is definitely doable. If you decide to visit Zion, you'll be greeted with sprawling cliffs, sandstone formations, caves, and clear skies for stargazing. Angel's Landing is one of the most popular hikes in the park, though it's also one of the most dangerous. The summit to the top is over 1,000 feet, but the tough part is the path to get there. Instead of guardrails protecting you from the steep drop-offs on either side, there's a chain bolted into the center of the path that you're supposed to hang on to for safety. But if you're brave enough to do this, you'll join about 1,000 people who hike Angel's Landing every year. And when you get to the top, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views of the park. U.S. News & World Report recommends people visit between the months of April and November because the park has free shuttles running between parking lots and trailheads during this time. Plus, the winter can get pretty cold. Number 4. Olympic National Park Located in Washington State, Olympic National Park is breathtaking for its biodiversity. Here you'll find three distinct ecosystems, glacier-capped mountains, the coast of the Pacific Ocean, and temperate rainforests. The entire park is nearly a million acres, including 70 miles of coastline. Popular spots to visit include a section of tide pools called the Hole in the Wall and Hurricane Ridge for panoramic views of Mount Olympus. Lake Crescent is also stunning for its incredible blue water and, of course, the mossy trees in the Ho Rainforest, the only temperate rainforest in the contiguous U.S., are also worth a visit. If you're looking to plan a trip here, it's recommended that you visit in late summer months to take advantage of the weather. Number 3. Grand Teton National Park If you're looking for a less crowded but equally impressive national park, try paying a visit to Grand Teton. Located in Wyoming, 
This park has mountains, waterfalls, lakes, glaciers, and the Teton mountain range towering 7,000 feet above the plains. If you go, you can go whitewater rafting, fishing, and hiking along the approximately 200 miles of trails and catch a glimpse of black bears, moose, grizzly bears, antelope, and bison along the way. Popular spots include the Jenny and Jackson Lakes, which reflect the surrounding mountains in a postcard-worthy shot, and Snake River, a favorite for kayakers, rafters, and anglers. According to U.S. News & World Report, the best time of year to visit is from late May to late September. Number 2. Yosemite National Park Yosemite occupies about 748,000 acres in California. With its waterfalls, cliffs, meadows, glaciers, giant sequoia trees, and tons of opportunities for stargazing, it's no wonder this is one of the most popular national parks to visit. Most people, however, don't make it through the entire 748,000 acres and instead stick to Yosemite Valley, which occupies about eight square miles. Located here are the famous Half Dome and El Capitan rock formations. Half Dome is a 14-mile intense round-trip hike, but offers sweeping views of Yosemite Valley and the High Sierra when you reach the top. El Capitan is also worth hiking or at least snapping a photo of. This rock formation is the largest formation of granite in the entire world, according to Thrillist, and ascends 3,000 feet into the sky. If you're not much of a hiker but still want to catch views of these incredible attractions, you can drive up Tunnel View and see El Capitan, Half Dome, and Bridal Veil Fall from the top. Again, this is one of the most popular parks, so you're going to be battling the crowds. The best time of year to visit is May and September to get some of the good weather, but avoid excessive crowds. Number 1. Yellowstone National Park Located primarily in Wyoming, Yellowstone also extends into Idaho and Montana. This was America's first national park, established by President Ulysses S. Grant all the way back in 1872. 2.2 million acres in total, Yellowstone is bigger than the states of Rhode Island and Delaware combined, and its beauty is breathtaking. A visit here will have you seeing natural wonders like geysers, such as Lone Star Geyser, which is one of the most popular multicolored sulfurous lakes and hot springs. You may also catch sights of animals like bison, elk, wolves, and bears. Additionally, Yellowstone is home to the highest elevation lake in North America, the appropriately named Yellowstone Lake, which spans 20 miles long by 14 miles wide. The best time of year to visit is from late April to May or September to October to enjoy milder temperatures and, of course, avoid the crowds. What about the cheapest countries to live in for $2,000 or less a month? Watch this video to learn about that.